Hello, hello, good afternoon, hello. good morning, or good evening, uh, wherever you are. Um, we're back with another live session. We had our last live session quite some time ago, actually, and I hope everyone is doing well after Christmas and New Year's and everything else, and uh, of course, the last uh, Omicron variant that's sweeping uh, the world everywhere. Uh, but from the safe of our home, I hope at least <laughs> something, we uh, are now back with a new discussion with Envat Andreasian. Hello, Envat. Welcome back uh, for another discussion on conducting, of course. Hello. And, of course. Uh, well, the last else? time... Uh, yeah, sorry. We, there's always a little bit of a... Of, of a delay that I forget to take into <laughs> into account. Um, last time, and uh, I think the time before, actually, we went through quite a few uh, different pieces. And uh, a couple of times ago, two sessions ago, we went through some very interesting and very, uh, well, difficult, yes, uh, contemporary works. And um, one of the things that came up from uh, the past sessions uh, was, uh, um, you know, everybody was really interested in these type of things, but also in how to approach uh, this music and how to approach different uh, technical aspects uh, of it, including uh, meter changes, tempo changes, these kind of things, especially when it comes to meters that not only change from one bar to another, but uh, uh, also for meters that change inside the same bar because it can be read in different ways. I mean, the meter itself doesn't change, but uh, 5, 8 can be read as a 2 plus 3 or as a, as a 3 plus 2. Uh, and uh, so forth goes for the uh, all other mixed meters that you can encounter, 7, 8, 8, 8. Uh, uh, even 9, 8 can be, can be read in different ways depending uh, uh, on how the composer how the music is written and how the composer perceives it. So uh, we thought that this time we uh, to sort of tackle these uh, questions that came up. We took a couple of um, examples from uh, the music of Bartok and the music of uh, Stravinsky. And uh, we can start with the first uh, example from uh, Bartok. And uh, what I would like to ask Embart, uh, Embart right away is, let's take the first example that we have, and uh, how do you normally approach this kind of a uh, uh, this kind of music? This a, a, a page like uh, like this one. Uh, everybody can see the page is now is, uh, uh, is now on screen for everybody, and. Uh, as you can see, you know, it starts with 8-8, eight, eight, then it goes to 12-8, a bar after, and then 8-8, eight, 7-8, eight, eight, and then it's 4. But already in the 8-8, eight, eight, you have some uh, uh, sort of dotted bar lines uh, that can give you an indication of some kind. So now I'm going to leave it to Envart to take it over on this. Please. Uh, well straight on this subject. Um, the music for um, strings, celesta, and percussions of Bartok, written on 1936. Um, the piece, please have a look very, very, very uh, carefully. We have a bar, a bar, indication 88 and then there is um a quaver then bar line then the um, the phrase is going through but do you see something very interesting means that this um um upbeat upbeat is normally not a bar 8-8, eight, eight, but 7-8. Because if you have a look to of number five of this score for the third and fourth violin, 
the bar is seven eight with an up beat, yeah, and then eight eight, which is exactly the same musical uh -huh. phrase, but a quint higher. So this is first thing to know. This is not a mistake, but Bartok wrote it like that because it's easier. But the conductor has to know that it is really, in reality, is an upbeat, and before it, there is a rest. Um, Until if the, we uh, the end of the first part. Yeah? Yeah, if I may um, interject one thing here, because uh, that uh, um, was also my one of my first uh, observations. If you take it from a pretty, uh, let's say, a, specific, a purely technical point of view, yeah. um, you know, the 8-8 eight, eight bar, Let's forget for one second the upbeat, but uh, the 8-8 eight, eight bar is clearly marked in 3 plus 3 plus 2, uh, as mm -hmm. in its internal subdivisions of 8 notes, right? So you, you would end up having basically the three patterns of which the last, in which the last beat is shorter than the first two. The point uh, being that... Uh, uh, but if you look at your 7-8 bar, so the one before number 5, that one, the last beat, is uh, a 3 8 notes, compri comprises 3 8 notes. Mm -hmm. So I think here uh, you have a choice to make, and uh, uh, that concerns the upbeat itself, because the up is, the, is your upbeat uh, going to be an upbeat of two eight notes over three eight notes. And that would actually depend on, uh, I think, how you read the phrase, which actually goes into what you were saying. Because if you actually see the whole phrase and go to the end of it, then uh, you take that upbeat as part of the phrase, and then automatically it becomes uh, 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 a, a, a three uh, eight notes. If you don't, and you only take into consideration the, the very first bar, aside from the upbeat, the very first complete bar, then it would actually fall into doing it into a two uh, eight notes, which might be okay for the orchestra in terms of understanding uh, when to start. Uh, but from a musical point of view and from a conducting point of view, there's a there's a great deal of difference in trying to understand where the phrase is going and how it is constructed. And these type of uh, analysis uh, and these type of things come into your technique and to your into the decisions that you make um, technically from a technical point of view. Uh, the 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 thing that before uh, before to choose which bar how it will be uh, shown uh, and technically first you must understand of, of course, course. Uh, yeah. uh, this is my my understanding because uh, you see the phrase is beginning in pianissimo. Uh, the, uh, the 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 la bemol has a articulation like this yeah yeah tarira tarira it means it means that in this tempo this tempo 116 between 116 and 112 circa nearly uh, it's not slow, it's fast. It yeah. is fast for a quaver, of course. So um, I will not give you right now solutions. I will just ask questions as I'm studying the score. Just questions. Yeah. Questions are why, how, how will I understand what what is on each note, each bar, and then we will choose the gesture without 
first, second is impossible. So, I agree. Um, I agree. Actually, I think that's a very good point. Uh, into uh, let, let me turn this into uh, a slightly more self um, self 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 teaching, so to speak, uh, thing, in the sense that uh, uh, <laughs> no, because this is a question that comes up uh, even indirectly. Uh, from students, usually, how do you approach this type of this type of things uh, when you have this type of music? So the the point uh, is, is is actually very valid. Ask yourself questions. Start with start with asking yourself questions, and then once you have an answer for those questions, then you can proceed further. This is pretty much what uh, analyz analyzing a piece means. Uh, you ask yourself questions. Where the phrase? Is, where is the phrase going? How is it constructed? How is the bar in, inside the phrase constructed? Is it? I don't know. Four bars phrase. Okay, let's reduce it to. I don't know. Is it a four bar? Is it a two plus two uh, uh, in a four bar phrase? What happens inside one single bar? And how does one bar relate to the other? To the to to the next one. Uh, Rhythmically, harmonically. What I'm trying to explain. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. With, yes. What I'm trying to explain. With what I'm trying to explain. Yeah. Because um, my lecture of score is simply not the same with your lecture of the, of the score or no. the third person, fourth person, okay? I'm just giving my... Uh, point of view, just giving, but asking questions. Uh, so I, I, can I go through in my uh, explanation? Yeah, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Okay. The first bar, um, there is, there is, as you said, bar indications with points. Yeah. And if right. you, you've, you have a good look, it's just the phrase, just the phrase, until the, um, uh, the rest, and then it's again a beat for the second uh, phrase, for the second phrase. So let's uh, see everything together, everything together. It's very difficult. Uh -huh. How to um, uh, beat this First phrase, as Bartok wrote it, it's in three. Yeah? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Um, then, then, the phrase is beginning from sol. I read notes as written. Sol to la bemol. Um, Where is the salt to love? Twelve eight. Where is the... What? Uh, I'm sorry. Are well, you I'm the reading the score. Is it written? I do, I don't transpose it. I don't transpose it. Ah, I'm reading I'm... as it is written on the score. Yeah, but this, we're we're in the viola part, right? Yeah, of course. The viola part on the second. I don't view. read as viola transcript. No, no, you don't hear me. I read as it's written on the score. I don't transpose it. It's easier uh, to, to for have to have a look. Okay. Um, well, for, for me, it's not really easy to have a look because I read uh, a flat, a natural B flat, uh, la si do re mi do in the in the viola part. But uh, I think I understand what you're saying. I, yeah. I think I understand so, so what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. I. It's easier for everybody, yeah? It's easier. Then, then, when you when you work, you do your uh, transposition. But I'm reading the score. Is it written okay. on the paper? Okay? It is not changing anything about the phrase, about the beating, about okay, okay. the idea. It's not changing anything. Okay. Um, then we have the third phrase. Uh, 
uh, with the end of 12.8, then six, the next bar 8.8, 8, which is a kind of variation, variation of the um, um, of the of the first second two phrases, and then we have seven eight, which is the end of the uh, idea before before uh, the transposition quint higher by violence. And there is something very interesting here. Um, he used Fibonacci scale uh, only for um, the fuga, fuga entrance. Mm -hmm. It's like this. First, mm -hmm. second entrance is quint. Four entrance is quint higher of the second. Six uh, entrance is quint higher of four. And um, third entrance is um, quint lower, and so on, until number 13. It's very curious, very interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, when you know this, when you, you don't have, because I couldn't uh, make the photos all the score, but yeah. when, if somebody has the full score, he will see. He will see. Uh, yeah, but I do um, see, now, for now. instance, uh, that, uh, okay, the first, this, the second entrance is a uh, quinta, uh, is a fifth higher, sorry, uh, quinta, mm -hmm. fifth higher than, uh, than the first. That's the violins. Then, uh, when la, have, yeah, what you, la, you mi, know, la entrance mi, entrance is the lower lower part of the page yeah lower part of the page yeah. since uh, number 10 it's c it's, so it's uh, queen, queen, queen. Huh? higher i read yeah. on the on the, on the cello entrance the cello entrance is the second entrance which cello's is, entrance is the third uh, entrance and it's from a d of, from, from from la of viola, lower, quint lower. Ah, in that Which sense. Okay, now I understand what you're saying. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Now, now, okay, now I understand. Yes, okay. one high one. Okay, yeah. I, I, no, it, um, mean, it means that, it yeah. means that. Yeah, yeah. I was looking, you, you I was looking at, the, at the entrance before that. Yes, okay, I understand now what you're saying, yes um i yeah I, the, uh, that's that, that's for the whole thing if, if if we stay for one second on the first phrase there's also one other thing that uh, i find interesting which is the symmetry inside uh, the single bars at least for the first bar yes uh, there's a on between the first and the second beat there's an actual symmetry uh they're mirroring uh, each other in terms of um of rhythm uh and with yeah. a slight difference of course in terms of uh of, of pitch uh then the, the 12 8 bar sort of takes off and comes back to the same point there's a really organic and really logical way in which this phrase is uh is constructed yes yes uh which also which pretty much tells you what's the inner line inside each bar which then in turn, even if you didn't have the dotted bar lines that help you make the subdivision uh, of, of, of the bar itself, then you would understand uh, how the bar is, is subdivided and is conceived. And then you can, from that, you can derive your, your technique. Uh, yeah. So uh, if we, we begin to speak about techniques, uh, the first part, so la bemol, c, d, um, well, okay. <laughs> uh, with, without transposition, it's easier, huh? Uh, it's in the three, in three. Yeah, of course, yes. Then the second phrase of 12.8 is in four. Yeah. Uh, 
next eight eight is in three seven eight is in two uh, the important thing to know is that all quavers are equal the tempo yeah. is equal it's not, it will not change um which is very difficult with the beginning of this piece because because uh beating quavers and the phrase make the phrase yeah, which is uh begin pianissimo with viola can you hear the sound a pianissimo viola uh -huh. you know what does it mean yeah. it means something something like this but he wants something like this So the gesture cannot be all, only one, two, three, one, two, three, just mechanical, huh? but the gesture has to show at the same time this of viola and with this regularity of beat and this. So here, here conductor needs um, uh, to have the both techniques, this and this, or in the right hand only, or just beat here and to show this legatissimo con sordino. Can you hear the sound? It's nothing, huh? Um, this is very important for the conductor means that uh, the gesture as gesture is not enough in the gesture in the gesture you put the character you put the color of sound you put the pulsation you put the beat you put the stroke you put everything so it, it's something global huh? uh, yeah i think that more. Um, yeah, I think that, um, there are two, um, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. It's the usual delay here <laughs> and, uh, there are a couple yeah, of, yeah. <laughs> uh, of, of points that are essential in, uh, hooking up for clarity of the orchestras and from, uh, and, and those are the rests, the eighth notes rests. Those are the ones that uh, uh, where your pulse can be really clear in driving the phrase, in initi initiating again the the forward movement of the of the phrase in order to drive it and not let it die, and so it doesn't sit on itself and then you know just dies over there. Those are really hook points that are um, essential in in, uh, in the technique. Um, I would uh, uh, take uh, the, the the second example because it's also very interesting uh, in a, for 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 what we for what we were just discussing. The second example starts in, starts at number 10. Then you also have uh, dividers uh, or, you know, these dotted lines uh, mm -hmm. in the baseline. But if you covered the baseline, you would still be able to see if you didn't look at the baseline, at the cellos, uh, and only looked at the violas or the violins, the second violins, you could still see where the, how the bar is, is constructed. Now the twelve eight for me is pretty much self self explanatory. Uh, the eight eight by looking at the first violins, sorry, the, the second violins and the violas uh, without taking into making make believe that the bass line is not there, uh, then uh, it's a three plus three plus two in terms of uh, its internal subdivision. And even if you look at the seven eight, then clearly you go back to um a three on the last uh, three eight notes on the last beat of the bar which then leaves four eight notes in the first part of the bar uh 
it's a it's mm, how I say it's a it's a way to 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 train your eyes and to you know your brain to see where these subdivisions are because this is what you need to I think as a conductor you need to feel the inner pulse of course of all of these bars and their inner subdivision. Because otherwise, if you don't have it clear, and if you don't know, and if you don't feel the inner pulse of, you know, 3 plus 3 plus 2, or uh, uh, 1 plus 4, <laughs> or, or whatever it is that the bar calls for, then you can't, it, it's impossible to drive it. And it's impossible to transmit it to, to the players. I want you to take an attention on the... Um, on the on the you are on the number 10 second uh, example yeah okay there is a viol uh, cellos cellos part there is with points in the bar yeah separating um yeah with the dotted lines yes the dotted bar lines yes yeah okay have a look have a look have a look of viola and second violence part there is no these small lines in exactly. the bar. Why? Because it is, uh, I don't know how is the name in English. It's a counter, uh, this is a fuga. This is this a is real fuga. So there is, huh? there is counterpoint, yeah. This is counterpoint. So there is no points in the, in, in the bar, only on the team, only yeah. on the team. What does it mean? What does it mean? Let's let's try to understand. It's very interesting. What does it mean? As you see, each part is going in with a quint fire, yeah, viola, violin, pianissimo, the same phrase, the same phrase. When vi violin is coming in uh, the beginning, uh, viola, uh, has no these points in the bar. Huh? What? Why? Why? What is it? What is it? Why? So we try to understand. These kind of questions the conductor should ask to himself to understand how it is constructed inside. And then it's very easy, very, very easy to never um, mix up um, bars, uh, 8, 8, 12, 8, 8, 8, 7, 8, would coming one after one. So you know how it is going. So even you can, you, you put the score on the stand, but you play it, you just play music, you don't beat, because you understand how it's constructed inside. So you can give answers by yourself to your questions so you try to understand maybe it is wrong but it can work maybe Bartok doesn't thought like that but it's not important conductors should understand why so then after that all these phrases will go like this together together without breaking without uh, changing the tempo because when you are not sure about the score you can change the, the, the tempo of the of quaver because there's a panic. You, you don't know. You don't know. No, I think that in this case, of course, That's I think that in this, case, uh, in, in this case, it's fairly uh, um, uh, straightforward to, you know, the, the, the pulse doesn't change. Whether you're in 12, 8, 8, 8, 7, 8, 3 plus 2, 2 plus 3, doesn't matter. The pulse is always the same. Uh, there is no indication anywhere that the pulse should change and that uh, when you move from one uh, meter to another or from inside the same meter anything should change so the pulse the basic pulse uh is 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 constant uh otherwise yeah then then you're really mm -hmm. looking for trouble but uh, but uh, but but phrases are not phrases that's what the, I, I asked the question the phrases are different. Phrases are different. Yeah. So, uh, 
again, the phrase is here, the gesture is here. So uh, the conductor should negotiate both together, together without uh, breaking Bartok wish, which was pianissimo, consordino, and something like this at first. As yeah, the I'm water uh... is moving, that's it, huh? It means uh, that. It means that. From, from, uh, I'm sorry, what's the last thing that you said? Because I didn't get let's that. Speak about, let's speak about the gesture. Let's speak about the gesture. Let's speak about the gesture. Yes, yes, go ahead. Yes, I was actually going to that. Yes. What, what you wanted to say, huh? So, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, because there is. Before the gesture, there is something that I want to say. Um, spend, spend, you can spend hours and hours on a score that you hear uh, many, many times and you know it by ear. But when you must conduct it, please sit on your table and patiently read the score as you hear it for the first time. Because there inside are many, many secrets that maybe when you heard, you didn't hear anything because it's, it's passing very, very fast. And you can choose yourself, your gesture, your ideas, your answers to your questions, and you will know better the score than musicians sit in front of you because they played it a thousand times. Now for the gesture. Um, I will try to, uh, to show. Uh, this is, this is, um, can you see? Jan Marian, can you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the so first part. Where will it begin? Because there is a upbeat, there is a upbeat. So it means that there is how many, how many rest you will add back the first la of viola huh, to begin the, the phrase. Because maybe the music has been uh, has begun already, or it will be begin just on the la of viola. This is a choice. Or or you do this. This or oh, you cannot see. Just one um, a quaver and at the la, or you. You do this. You cannot see, huh? No, it's um, oh, it's like too it. out of the camera. Yeah, maybe that's better. So, or you you give one quaver viola. How many violas playing? You should know. If if one uh, quaver uh, is enough to make them play together with this very very soft and very um close sound or you choose to do like this so you do two or three or four it depends how you feel the flow of this phrase because everything will depend until the end of the first part with from this gesture from the first gesture because as you said, the quaver is egal, it never changed. Only, only uh, in the middle of the piece, uh, where is it? On the middle of the piece, uh, there is a poco ralentando before uh, number 65. If you somebody has the score, can see. And then it's slower because there is Celesta is playing many, many things. It is slower and most lyrical, and then 
we are finishing until the end with a quaver circa 108. So everything is de would depend from first gesture and the preparation of the viola part with one, two, three, or four gesture of tempo. This is important. So it's, it's a choice of each conductor. Means it depends how he, how he understood and feel the music, the color of music. Because the, the, the first color of viola, consordino, I, I'm repeating, I'm repeating, but it's very important. Consordino, pianissimo, and it's not high, huh? it's, and it's going like this. So it is the choice. It means I want to say that everything is not um, um, related only of the gesture. But the gesture is a choice. Yeah, well, the gesture, I, I think. Uh, 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 can uh, explain yeah, well, the, yeah, yeah, the gesture is uh, is always a choice because for me, the gesture comes from out of the music. So since if, if music makes the technique, mm -hmm. then the gesture is always a choice that is based on uh, uh, a musical choice or a musical interpretation or whatever it is that you get out of a score. So that's what I was referring to earlier when I said, okay, well, then you got to see at either the end of the first bar or the end of the phrase, depending on what you choose, then your pickup bar becomes something a little different. Mm -hmm. But from if I look at it, once you've made your choices in terms of phrasing, uh, and you know how the phrase is constructed, where it is going, and blah, blah, blah. And yes, I certainly, just to, in parentheses, I certainly agree on the fact that uh, you cannot conduct any music by ear. That is as amateurish as it gets. Right, and yeah. uh, I think it's really dangerous because you end up, uh, that's like saying, you know, I studied with the, um, with the, with the recording. Uh, and you put a CD on or a YouTube video on and you conduct a recording and you think that you've studied, that you've studied it, because, but that is one of the most dangerous things that a conductor can do to learn a score because you end up, first of all, you learn somebody else's interpretation and not your own. And second of all, you follow the, the, the recording and once you're in front of the orchestra, you don't know how to lead it because you're used to follow the recording, even if you think that that you're leading the recording does not follow you ever it just keeps going and the orchestra you're supposed to lead the orchestra not to follow it so it's really it's a really dangerous, uh, dangerous. It, it, it might look dangerous. like a shortcut but it's a really dangerous thing to do and then especially and you might be able to get away with these things on a mozart symphony if you have a trained orchestra once you get into this type of music, it's absolutely impossible to uh, um, to get out of it. Now, parenthesis closed because I, <laughs> I this is a point that I, I make I every single to... time I can. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, I want to say yeah. something. You you said if you have a um, what did you say? If you have a um, what orchestra? Uh, trained orchestra, you can do it. No, you cannot. No, no, no. no, no, I, mean, no I don't. No, no, no. I, I didn't say you can do it. I said you can get away with it. Yeah, but something very important. Uh, a trained orchestra from the first uh, thousandth part of second knows that the conductor will be conducted by the orchestra. Of course. You know, but that's what I'm saying. You know, the trained orchestra, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll know. They'll know the minute you enter the door. So you can get away in the sense that uh, the, the orchestra will take over and will do your performance. And you'll, you, you'll feel like you, they let you pretend that you're conducting while, in fact, they're not even looking at you. And, uh, uh, you know, because they have a certain standard, so this, the orchestra doesn't fall apart because the conductor doesn't know what to do. So they just go by themselves. Uh, uh, 
yeah. you, you, uh, by one, by getting away with it, I mean that uh, you, you cannot get away with the orchestra with this. So you can get away with it if you step on the podium and uh, the orchestra plays. You know, they go by themselves and the audience doesn't notice, perhaps. But the orchestra will always know. But when when you get and this, I'm only talking about something like, as I said, you know, maybe a, a Mozart symphony, or if you have. If you go on the Berlin Philharmonic, I can put my mother on it that doesn't know how to read music. The Berlin Philharmonic would go top to top to bottom with any with anything, but that's not the point. If you if you're a conductor, you're supposed to sit down and read and understand whatever it is on the score on the page, and then convey it to the musicians, not the other way around. And if you do that with the recording, you can't do that. It's impossible. Without with Bartok, it's impossible. Possible. It's sure. Possible. It's, okay. it's, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, uh, I always get carried away with this because it <laughs> seems like it's a vice that uh, that's going. Yeah. You know, it's spreading like a freaking you know virus. What? You know. You know what? What we are saying, even it it is out of the the subject of the score, but it's yeah. very important because it, everything yeah. is. This is a big global thing. Uh, enormous, enormous, and this is very serious. And uh, each point in, the, in this global uh, ball must be uh, known, must be managed by the by the conductor. It begins with sitting on in the in the, on, on the table, put the table on the table, the score and read. All the time we will say it because it's important. Yeah. So you now, wanted yeah. to. Now, second part you said second second yeah, sorry. example. Yes, that's right. sorry. I, as I said, I get I tend to get carried away when it comes to this particular topic. Now, going back to where we were, uh, I would add one <laughs> question, <laughs> one question uh, that you can ask yourself as a conductor when you look at uh, at the score. When you look for let's let let's take this one, and the question is. Uh, there's always points in a score where the orchestra needs your attention and needs your help or can use help or can benefit from your help. So, and there are points where actually uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not needed also. That's the other side of the coin. So the question is, where does the orchestra needs my help and where it doesn't? Because from that point, if, if you start also, if you consider also that that uh, that point of view, then automatically there are some things that you're not. Automatically, in some points, you stop beating or you stop being that uh, um, insistent uh, with uh, with the players. You sort of. It's not like you take a step back in terms of okay, you guys do it now, and then they just uh, um, sit back and do nothing. That's not the point. But there's always a, t a, a certain type of uh, um, exchange and a certain moment where you can lead, and a certain moment where you can. Once you've, you've the machine is 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 going, then you can let it go uh, on its own until they need your attention again. Otherwise, in a piece like this, for instance, if you decide to beat every mm -hmm. single eight notes, then you stand and do this for the whole time in the face of the players, and it sort of loses its purpose. No, because, and, uh, of course not. No, of course not. Of course not. Uh, because for me, for me, uh, the beating, the beating, is not just to show the stroke. Beating, for me, is for, with the beat to show the spirit of the piece, to show the phrase of the piece, to show the dynamic of the piece. And you can do it with this hand, without or right or left hand, uh, without the other hand, on, or your second hand will help uh, something more important to put out, for example, a phrase, put out the phrase. So you, when you show directly to the group, you sh to put out this, the sound, 
they will do it and then it go, it's going back. It's mean you manage even when you beat. It's not a stroke. It is just, it can be, here it can be. For me, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if you can see it. Huh? Yeah, no, you're I off don't camera. Know. It's the, the, the beat in the spirit of the music of the phrase, not uh, just stroke. And then with the other hand, you show uh, or you don't show. For me, it's like that. And it is working because it's my way to lead the music, but not give chuck, 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 chuck. And, and all uh, 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 quavers will be equal. The tempo will not change. This is a technique. It has to be worked. It is not coming like that. It means that it is a global ball like this. So inside you manage everything and you can help the orchestra without uh, moving too much, without uh, uh, check, 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 doing this, nothing. It's, it, it's just flowing together. It is a choice. It's yeah, of a course. conductor's choice. Of course it yeah, is. Of course. of course it is. And I actually, of I mean, I, uh, I agree on the and fact that, that and as, as if it wasn't clear earlier, but I do agree on the fact that uh, uh, it's it's not supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, just chuck, 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 because that's 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 time beating. It has nothing to do with conducting, and it doesn't. It does not take into, but that's a metronome. Then you put the metronome up, you put it, you set it at one sixteen, and that's okay. Uh, but they, they uh, can play. exactly, <laughs> then that's fine. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, technique-wise, you have what 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 I was uh, trying to say earlier is that you have points inside the phrase. Where the orchestra needs a little more of your help with the pulse for the for instance before the retake of the upbeat of, of each bar uh, but there are places other than that where uh, um, uh, this, 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 this kind of, of gesture for me it's just like a chopping block and it sort of disrupts uh the the flow of the phrase and that's where i think that uh if you're you know if you have a legato click which means that you can have a pulse inside a legato line then uh, it helps with a great a great deal for this type of uh um for this type of music in this, in, in this case uh specifically uh, i, I want uh, propose something. Yeah, go Can ahead. Yes. Yeah, 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 go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'll, uh, sorry, I'll... sorry, sorry. I want yeah. to propose something uh, to those who are listening to us. Uh, make a exercise ho home, at home. Make a exercise. Um, take the first bar of this piece. Huh? It's in three, three. and uh, you uh, show the beat and you sing the phrase and you hear viola, pianissimo with his color and consortino. You will see, your gesture will change, totally will change. Well, of course. And yes. you will become... Not I agree. Really. Actually, it's, uh, it's a great it's oh, a I great agree. exercise that you can practice at home Let's for. Do uh, uh, for this. Yeah, very I would important. actually go. Uh, very yeah, I would actually also go if you want to take it as an exercise, as a pure exercise. Let's let's abstract. Uh, from from the music itself, and let's let's just sure. pretend that these are four bars mm -hmm. of solfege. 
uh, then as an exercise, mm -hmm. you can take this and it's pianissimo, and then you can take this and make it fortissimo, and then you can take this and make it staccato instead of legato, and then you can take this and make it, uh, uh, you know, pianissimo, staccato, pianissimo, legato, fortissimo, staccato, all combinations. Yeah, yeah, exactly. With crescendo diminuendo, with dynamic, different dynamics, with, with all combinations with that this, you can. Uh, with points. Yeah, that you can create, and then you see that you know your 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 line can change from tira um, tira um tari ra ri ra ra tira um tari tari ra pira. Even if you change tempo inside, then uh, it's a good practice to keep the clarity or, or to try different things to exercise to practice it at home there is nothing uh, uh, um, there's nothing wrong with taking a piece of music and just use it for yourself for, as a practicing exercise uh, especially for conductors it's a good way to um, understand and 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 how how it can work in different ways it's a good way also to uh, um, practice a, on the same music a different type of reaction to something that could be a different dynamic uh, or a, a, a different tempo or a different articulation that's in the music itself. And then you see how your gesture actually changes uh, from one variation to another. Okay, that's a very good idea. But I want to add something very simple. If you want to see how your gesture is changing with all this proposition of Gian Maria, please do it in front of a mirror and yeah. look at yourself. Or film yourself. It's very important. Yeah. In front of the mirror. And you look at your gestures as the second person who is looking at you. The mirror is the second person. And you look to your gestures and you change uh, you this, uh, ask questions. How will? How was it? Is it clear for the orchestra? Is it not clear for the orchestra? And this is a good way to go ahead with gesture. On wow. the back side of that, you can also <laughs> yeah. On the back side of that, you can uh, you can also do something else. You can uh, uh, yeah look in the mirror and also put your phone on and record yourself. And then uh, watch yourself of as course. if you were a musician, a player in the orchestra. And they can, then you can ask yourself, would I be able to play with that? Can I follow that? Is that clear? Is that not clear? Of course. Uh, if you do that and you know, you're a string player, you're a noble player, you're a, you're a horn player, whatever it is that you're playing, you can, you can, you, you can uh, uh, sort of watch it as if you're not a conductor, but a player and then uh, uh, sort of self-correct on some uh, uh, on some things at least. Because uh, in the in front of the orchestra, uh, you need to correct yourself. At the same time, you listen the music coming from the orchestra. You must correct your gesture. Something is not working. Why? Hop! You change it. So, boom. You make exercises to prepare yourself for change. This is small exercises like this, which is very, very useful. Very. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, look, we've been here for almost an hour. I would actually go to uh, one uh, example from uh, Stravinsky since we are in the. Um, uh, in this. I would actually take the first example from Stravinsky just because. Okay. Just because, uh, uh -huh. in the, yeah. Well, in the, the this goes with what I was saying earlier. In Bartok, we had dotted bar lines that sort of indicated how the 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 bar was subdivided internally. Now, if you take something like this, first example. This because of the Sorry. Uh, this small, uh, how do you, how do you say that small uh, lines in the bar yeah. is to show the phrase at the same time? It's yeah, yeah, only, exactly. Uh, beats. Yeah. Uh, no, of course not. But uh, in, uh, in 
something that, for instance, in this case, in Stravinsky, is not there. You don't have it. So there is no help no. in uh, in the... So you take the yes, score. There is. Of course, yeah, of yes, course. There, there, is. But there is no visual help in terms of printed in the in the, in the sense of these bar lines that they're not there. So you have to okay. work it out yourself. Okay. Now, the point, my, my, uh, the, the point in question is... was, how do you work it out let's take these two bars for instance or let even just even if you just take the the five eight bar um how do okay. you work it out if it's a uh, two plus two plus one uh, two plus three three plus two uh, one plus four uh it depends just the eight bar have a look we have an accord Quaver, rest, an accord, quaver, uh, rest, uh, accord, then the bar 4 8, rest, a quaver accord, rest, a quaver accord. And the, the next bar is on 3 4, is the same. Uh, yeah, okay. On the uh, first and second beat. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So let's have, a, let's have a look. Of the formula, what is the formula? With forget the bar, five eight uh, four eight, forget it. What is the formula? Formula is accord rest, accord rest, accord rest, accord rest, accord rest, accord rest. Means that we have something very regular. Chuck, 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 chuck. Chuck, chuck, chuck. It's finished like that. This is the phrase. So, um, means that it must be so clear, so clear as a stroke, as a stroke on the accord with uh, four piano. So clear and so clear must be the rest without any uh, resonance chop, 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 like this because up up they are singing they are singing with russian um syllables with their accents which are which are different as the language is different and the accents are not the same what piano are playing ta 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 they are singing one by one and uh, word by word. So, how can be the gesture to have this uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then three, four, six, seven accords? I made a choice. I think uh, it's uh, it's as you see on the score. I made yeah. one, two, one, two, one, one. Yeah. It can be like that because um, I made the choice. I have no problem, technical problem, to make this uh, one, two, uh, two, two, one, and then two, two. I have no problem. If there is a problem that you are not sure to keep the tempo and the um, strong sound, chop, 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 this, you change your gesture. But there is something very important. If you do it with one, two, one, two, three, it becomes something that you cannot manage about the uh, uh, character. Is is sforzando uh, in a forte, sforzando, and it is short because in the, the tempo is very fast. So you choose that's why i choose one two one two one one two one two one two one two one i did it uh, i'm sorry but uh, can you uh, to... just stand back and show it because uh, we mm, yeah. we couldn't see it because you are you are I off camera like basically. one one did you see one two one two one one two one two it's two half because i won't have 
uh, these accords, accords on place, on place, without resonance and very cycle. Like this. And there is one, two, three, four piano is playing. Four pianos. Yes. Instruments. Yes. Q with big, big Q. So the sound is like this. Yeah, if for me, I the do, sound is, is, one, is, uh, yeah. is short and it actually calls for a very short rebound uh, on uh, on the gesture. Pa, 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 uh, yeah. Pa. You, yeah, but, 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 uh, as there is four pianos, yeah, they must play together, yeah. together as a block yeah. like this. So the gesture, the gesture cannot show only accords, but must show also uh, rest. Of cha, course. Cha, cha, like this, of huh? Of course. And the singer's part is written one, At least two, three, for the second four, five, bar. one, two, three. Yeah, it's written one, two, three, four, five. It's in the one, two, three, four, five. But the conductor has to know which part are important here, which are keeping the character of the piece. And then singers will not uh, slow it down, will, can sing one, two, three, four, five. Chak, 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 chak. That's when I make the choice to do one, two, one, two, one, one, two. So I can. Do this. One hand, I can show one, two, one, two, one. With the other one, I can show the stroke. Yeah. So okay. at the same time, I have my yeah, okay. wrist very clearly my wrist. That's why I did it. That's then, an interesting then yeah. the bar four eight two four is in two, but yeah. not in two yeah. like this. Cannot be. Because the same, same spirit than the, the, the eight, uh, five eight, yeah? there are strokes. So the gesture must be so secco of the of the um, um, the bar two four five eight uh, uh, part, sorry four eight two four so secco that we can hear rest and uh, stroke rest and stroke. This is difficult, very difficult, and this is um, this is the is the bar talk has to be uh, practiced in front of the uh, mirror. The other thing that this can be conducted like this. I can I don't know if you can shoot like this, yeah, but with moving this. You can lose um, the the hard sound. It can become something with resonance in the in the space, which the conductor has to think about that. If you do the gestures very like this, with raised only. You can have the sound. Now there you, you go. See how the gesture? Now, there, you huh? uh, there you go. That's exactly right. Because the second, the, the second bar, the five, also the five eight, but in the second bar is especially important uh, for one for for one reason. Because everybody, except for the singers, but everybody else, the chords are all playing or are all playing off the beat. So uh, in this type of very percussive music uh, and in uh, uh, without the wrist I think you're completely lost because then it becomes impossible to uh, it becomes not impossible perhaps but really confusing to uh, to follow so and th there's there's an example I mean this is an example you have examples in, in the right to springs you have example all over the places for these type of uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, configurations uh right and that's what i'm saying if you have a sh you know if you have uh something like this this is really not going to help anybody it's gonna need you need a short very short rebound uh from and from the wrist as you were pointing out because otherwise it's um 
it's not going to be together. Um, so, this, like, this, yeah, there is something. Um, the, the, the conduct this piece, this hard places, huh? which would needs to be very vertical, chuck, 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 like this, it's better to use only this here. Because it's very short yeah. and you cannot lose the time and you can put all the inner energy here and you can put all the heart sound inside yeah otherwise if you do it with this you are lost because it became it will become something very yeah you can do it in the of the begin in the beginning of bar talk because the phrase is like this i totally agree but not here yeah yeah totally agree all right let, listen um this has been again a very interesting uh, discussion and uh, we'll see what uh, everybody thinks about this if they have other questions of course and maybe uh, you know we can is there questions that. uh no not is at the moment questions? there are no quite no not at oh. the moment but uh i'm saying i'm saying that uh, if questions will come up uh later then we can answer them uh, in the in another session or, or in a uh, um, uh, in the comments in the group and uh, and so forth um, and uh, you know maybe we can have another round uh, next time about something else depending on the feedback that uh, uh, can we can we Jean Maria can yeah. we speak about the third example yeah. it will be very short yeah sure go ahead it's on it's on screen now yes example so we have a bar two two eight uh two eight two four a uh, four eight two four it's not important five eight and then five eight two four uh here here unfortunately uh, i i couldn't uh, make the photo of the full score of the full uh, part but if Anybody has a score? Please have a look. Pa 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 pi pa 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 pa. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, there is three, five, one. Uh, quavers. Huh? And then, and then, singer is continuing a new phrase. Look the the part or piano parts. Piano parts uh, is finishing. Is finishing at the, at the beginning of number sixty-eight, and then um, timpani and voice are going through. Yeah. So this second bar of five eight, how can it be? I should finish the phrase, then begin another five eight. How could it be? The tempo is. Uh, the crotchet 120. I have one problem. I must finish the phrase. First phrase and then begin the second. Because it's, it's, it's very clear. Like this. Yeah. What I do, yeah. I will tell you what I do. It's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, one, two, one. Because I finish the first phrase and in the second, in the second, as the text is very interesting, he put accent on the third uh, quaver. But it is not important. The, the important thing is to finish the first phrase. So I do that. So one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, one, two, one. I do this because I can't do it. I don't move, I can't do it. And this was, uh, these things, uh, even with my experience, I am studying the gesture because the gesture must be very clear, very short, huh? very short. And uh, your brain must know that you must continue as 
two four. You see? Yeah, yeah. It's just the contrary what we yeah, saw. Yeah. It's just the contrary. There was one one two one two t one. This is one two one two one two three four five one one two one two one. Yeah, it's uh, um, I, yeah. yeah. Obviously, it's one of those. It's not the first one. I mean, it's the first one that we see here, but it's not the first uh, example in the history of music where you have a phrase that ends and another one can at, at the same time begins on the same uh, in the same bar, right? So uh, this is always a matter of choice on how to connect two phrases together and how to uh, react. Of course, in this case, it makes it makes it a little more complicated perhaps the fact that you have to switch from one meter to another and then the phrase is also an extra accent in it so obviously it makes an impact on uh, um, the overall conception of the of the phrase itself but yeah I agree yes okay all right well, this is a, uh, an, another example uh, I what I wanted to say that uh, a bar five eight can be beaten different uh, so, uh, sort. It depends what is the phrase, what is the idea, and of so course. on and so on. So there is yeah. not only one way to uh, do it. No, no, absolutely not. Uh, and you know, it often depends. I mean, if you in the in this five eight bars, for instance, uh, if I'm just looking at the singer's part. Now, if there was no text so if you didn't know where the accents of the language of the text are then uh, this would be two plus three pop, 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 pop. if you look at the text then it becomes a little different hey. ta, 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 ta. Uh, it, it it, it, it it it's the same five eight bars it can be read in two different ways now in this case the text comes into place so it then it becomes uh, fairly easier to understand where the logical accent is now also if you just looked at the second and the third line then uh, you would probably you you could consider ta 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 or you can see you could consider pa 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 pam uh in uh in in this split in that uh, in that way it can vary, um, but uh, uh, there, it's there possible. Is some, that there, is something. there is something very important. Uh, there is, uh, this is in Russian. Yeah. So the Russian has yeah. his accents, yeah. his uh, um, pronunciation of, uh, how can I say, the, um, the time of pronunciation of each syllable. And here he used it equal equal so but but there is an accent on the uh, bar eight five it's ta 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 it's with accent huh uh, of course everybody doesn't speak russian everybody doesn't know russian but you can ask to someone who of knows course. russian you should if, they can if help you don't you. then you this should is, you should this is very, you should. of course so you can with this you can also see how it is written and you choose your gesture yeah and the, the music is going on going on going on going on going on the tempo is fast for every indeed. 120. yeah indeed. indeed it is all right well thank you very much and very for uh, uh keeping uh, me company <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, <Saturday>. yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, you too. <laughs> and for talking about Thank some you music. very much to yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, well, I, I'm sure that uh, everybody will enjoy this uh, who hasn't followed it yet, has, will, will enjoy this. Uh, and, uh, you know, look forward to our next, to another one uh of these uh of these talks these talks are uh are open. Wanted what? <laughs> sorry okay i said tell me what and why yeah when? <laughs> and uh <laughs> yeah we'll do it again yes all right thanks a lot then you have a nice evening and uh have a nice day everybody and thanks for joining and uh and uh
uh, I'll see you uh, next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.